My name is Alan Hart. I've been with Bleed Trust for over 10 years. I've been with them since day one when they were starting out in early 2015. It all started after I was in college. I was doing a course called Route to Careers at the time. And uh, being an autistic man at the young age, people often say to me, what do I see myself doing in a few years time? Well, I really couldn't answer that with a straight answer. But the more I started to work with the trust, the more I felt more rounded as a person. I started to feel maybe this is my calling to help those less fortunate in the community and to help improve it. As a wise man once said, life doesn't always go the way you expect it, but it does have a funny way of putting you on the right path. As I grew older, I started to learn more about my condition. I mean, in my mid-school years, it was never easy for one to understand being the oddball out of the bunch. But the more I worked with the trust and the more I worked with the community, it started to help me come out more of my shell because I discovered I had good people skills talking to members of the public and of course my fellow staff. And it's really helped me to feel more open about myself because the trouble is when an autistic person, they feel like they're in a small little box, like they want to keep themselves safe in that small little environment. And they can be a bit of a tough nut to crack. But the more the years I worked with the trust, it started to open me up and I felt I managed to crack that shell and to be, be more rounded as a person. Essentially, the whole key part of our project is the reduction of food waste. Basically, the, more, the less that ends up going into landfill or scrap, if you will, the, is the better we view the success of our operation. Essentially, we try to minimize the amount of food we have left over, but we don't really force it on people. We allow them to take what they think is necessary. And I always provide a, a very welcoming atmosphere in free food, always being nice saying, ah, how good to see you, please come. I always choose that example to be a helping way to sort of break the ice. I grant there are stigmas regarding these type of services, but I really foresee them as being a great help to a community, especially in our current uh, times with financial troubles at the moment. I mean, people say you get a really good feeling, but it really gets you good here in the coppers of your heart, just to know that you're helping those less fortunate, but to also know that you're helping them improve their lives.